welcome to the MBS Show, episode number nine. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Emilio Daniel. Sup, everybody. So, Emilio, how was your day? My day was bloody tiring. I had like we we painted this huge black darkness. I don't know. It's supposed to be like a a gap in the universe or something like in Doctor Who, except it's about four twenty by twenty inches wide on my wall. Oh, um, it's so black paint. So no pony then? We're actually reserving the spot for ponies. It took a long time to make the whole black thing. So yeah. Oh, okay. Joining us today is a special guest host, Tash. Hey, everybody. What's happening? <laughs> for you guys who do not know who Tash is, she was meant to be our, well, one of our regular co-hosts. But since she moved to Australia, well, she's, well, down under then. I'm in a different time. <laughs> I'm down under. <laughs> it just sounds so wrong. <laughs> but yes, I'm currently in Australia. Australia, as we like to call it. So, kind of hard to coordinate times for that. And for those who want to know, me and Tash did one episode. And it was a glorious episode. It was amazing. Yeah. And then my audacity crashed. And I lost all the song clip. Well, uh, lesson learned. <laughs> yes. So, Tash, before we start, we have to ask you, the four important questions. Who is All your favorite right. pony? Favorite pony? Ah, oh, Pinkie Pie, of course. Oh yeah! <laughs> She's my Pinkie spirit pony. <laughs> okay. Um, favorite episode? Favorite episode. It's really hard to choose a favorite episode, but purely because anything in baby form is like really cute baby cakes. Baby cakes. Just because it's adorable and yeah, basically for purely that reason, and of course Pinkie is in it. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So, um, who else knows about your love for the show? Who doesn't know about my love for this show? Like, seriously? <laughs> I did, like, oh, I've, I basically, I've done a parody video on YouTube. For those of you who might have seen it, I was the crazy pony lady. It was the parody of the crazy cat lady. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. The Harmony Cat video. I basically did a parody of that and it even got up on EQD, which was quite an honour, actually. And um, I started doing pony cosplay at a few meets and stuff, so that's been fun. (laughs) So basically, a lot of people know about my love for ponies. It's on my bag, damn it. It's on my bag, on my file. I'm surrounded by ponies (laughs) 24-7. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. (laughs) man. Thank you. I just want a cupcake. Sorry, no cupcakes here. Muffin only. Oh, oh! I said it's it's okay. I'll take whatever I can get. Muffins, it is. Now introducing our guest, Vincent Pencil Point. How are you? Hello, guys. I'm fine. Vincent, how was your day? It's uh, kind of rough because I I've been through with my dad going around with my dad, you know, to do stuff, and I finally got home. Oh, sorry. Ha <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I I I like. Okay, so before we start with the show, um, we got to ask you the four important questions. Who's your favorite pony? Ah, <laughs> this question. Uh, well, it has to be Pinkie Pie, because... Uh, <laughs> Pinkies! Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! Yeah, Pinkie Pie, yeah! Bring on the party, Cannon! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Pinkie's your favorite. So, what's your favorite episode? It has to be Baby Cakes. Wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that episode, man. That episode. How cute is it, though? Oh, it's okay. like. <laughs> Whoa! Responsibility. Whoa! They came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Responsibility pie. That's right. Oh yeah. Okay. How did you get into the fandom? I saw my friend in my college was watching it, and then I was like, "Why? Why are they watching it in in public?" I was like. <laughs> It's, it's, I'm, I'm very curious. Then, and then I went home. I decided to uh, download the whole season for my niece. It turned out that I watched the whole season. My niece didn't get it. <laughs> I, I, I'm quite a bad person. Oh. Yeah. But after that, I did, I did buy some pony merchandise for my niece. After that. Trying to make up for the Yeah. Girl. yeah no. So is that cover for, I bought stuff for myself at the same time for my niece? Yeah, that's that's right. I bought, that's, that's my first. I, I bought Pinky, and then I bought Rainbow Dash for her. 
Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so, um, what do your friends and family think about your love for the show? Well, my family was like, uh, they, they, they were okay with it. But my friends, <laughs> they don't get used to what I, I would say, they don't really like what I uh, go towards. But then, even that, most of them are turned bullies. Oh, sweet. Yeah, most of them. <laughs> so, what <laughs> them all? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was like, I was like, why don't you try and watch the first season? Uh, I mean, the first episode. Then they were like, oh, okay. Then the next day, I was like, whoa, actually, it's not bad. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, speaking about okay. converting people into Vernon, I, I always had this idea where, you know how you see these Christian missionaries <laughs> people's doors, and going like, have you accepted Jesus into your, in Jesus, Jesus into your life? And I always thought of going like, have you accepted ponies into your life? <laughs> <laughs> no. Turn to the ways of the brony <laughs> Emilio, that's too tame That's too tame What you should do is You should go like the Borg uh, You will be assimilated Resistance is futile <laughs> <laughs> And people wonder why Brodies get a bad rap, man. Yeah, I know. I, I wonder that too. Are we supposed to be like love and tolerance? Exactly. Love and tolerance. Have you accepted Brodies <laughs> in your life? <laughs> <laughs> you do it pinkies way. Load them in with baked goods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is genius. I can be a Girl Scout now. <laughs> Oh no. So in the bronies, we have big goods. Name it, we have it. <laughs> yeah, and diabetes, don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put like a little warning label underneath all of the merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on uh, yeah. to housekeeping. If you're hearing my voice is a bit out, it's because I just recovered from a sore throat, and if I sound bad, well, it's because of that. You sound sexy from this section, so it's alright. <laughs> uh, six. You're just being nice. Sexy, no, my Do it, do it, do the rawr. Rawr. Oh, sexy. <laughs> okay. And uh, um, I think that we have a second housekeeping note. Ah, yes. Well, one of our listeners had some concern for our website's header, and he corrected it for us. Thanks to Michael for helping us correct the mistake that I do. Thank you, Michael. Or is it that I did? I forgot. That you did. Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Mistake that happened, basically. That's all good. Mistakes get well, fixed and we move on. Woo-hoo. Yes, Derpy is our mascot, so Derping is basically our show. <laughs> thank you very much for saying I feel Every like- day we're derping. <laughs> uh, I wish I have a song to that. So anyway, um, let's move on to the news topic. In today's news topic, the hidden message behind BBBFF song, which stands for Big Brother Best Friends Forever. A Reddit user by the name of Cool Hool has analyzed the BBBFF song and an interesting revelation was discovered. And then Ingram confirmed it in his tweet. Uh, this song is going to be hard to explain if you don't know the fundamentals of music theory. But our residential musician will try his best to explain it to all of us. Links to the article and Daniel Ingram's tweet can be found in the show notes. So, Emilio, explain it to us. Alright, sit down, everybody. Because Professor Daniel's in the house tonight. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. We might need to never do that again. Anyway, uh, moving on, uh, I'm just going to read off the post posted on the Reddit uh, forum for My, My Little Pony and explain along the way what he means. There was actually a double meaning in the song. The song is in the key of D flat major, just like winter. That means that a good chord is in a D flat major chord. Actually, a chord that occurs the most in, in a chord progression, which is uh, basically how you make it be chords on the piano or guitar. So this means that the D flat major chord appears quite a lot in this song, making it the root, the key of the song, basically D flat major key. Usually an A flat major chord will lead into a D flat major. This is the five to one chord progression. And this chord progression is also known as the authentic cadence. Stick with me here. Now it seems to resolve to a sadder chord at the end of the phrase. Instead of an major around 116 mark, it lands on B flat minor. 
the relative minor of D flat major. Now, for a relative minor, is actually a same. How I say is like is a key within the key. It's like for example, if you have a key of D major, the relative minor would be B minor. So that means that this same key can be applied within the other key. So it's it's a stew of the same key, but we call it differently. So it depends on where you start from on the root chord. Now, when a chord progression seems to be heading to the root chord, but lands on the relative minor instead, that, my ladies and gentlemen, is called a deceptive cadence. Amazing, amazing revelation right there, like, <gasps> it came. Oh, God. Did anybody got that? All I heard was chord, and it went to discord. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't need to make sense. <laughs> I can understand where you're coming from and it's like, oh, I can see how that's happening. But my brain just went, uh, okay. <laughs> I have an uncle who's a musician, by the way, and I asked him about the song and I let him listen to the song. Yeah, he seems to understand it, but has a hard time explaining it to me. Yeah, actually, I, I actually don't know how to explain this thing to a non-musician. It's like, oh crap. But it's what? Okay. It's music. You feel it, people. <laughs> You feel it in your heart! That's right! <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll put it in the most simplest form to understand. Basically, a 5 to 1 chord progression is called an authentic cadence, but he, uh, which is done in the middle of the song. But to end the song, instead of ending the song with the root chord, which is how you usually do in pop music nowadays, he ends it on, uh, on a minor chord, which is the same chord that would be the related minor, minor the which would be the opposite end of the major chord. Which, in, in music, you refer to the major chord as a happy chord and the minor chord as a sad chord. So that's basically what it is. It's, and you call that progression a deceptive cadence. Cadence is how you end a progression. Oh. So deceptive cadence is the deceptive ending. Get it? Oh. So that's the sad way. Dun dun dun. Well, okay, that was interesting. I think we lost a few audience by that time. So, let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> Learning is fun. Knowledge is good, people. Oh my God, no. Moving on. An extended version of Love is in Bloom exists. Link in the show notes. An extended version of the song Love is in Bloom exists. In a recent tweet by Daniel Ingram, he stated, Good news! There is an extended version of Love is in Blue. It will likely be released eventually, but that's on, out of our hands. So, um, there's also a link to the tweet that Daniel Wingren posted right there in the show notes. And, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. And I'm curious to, to hear what this um, extended version has, actually. Uh, update on that news. It's already out. What? Okay. Yay! <laughs> Slowpoke! Sorry. I'm a bit slow, but it's already out. Um, the full song is quite okay. It's um, under two minutes. Oh, oh that's quite short, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then the video is out too. Uh, you can look it on Google or MBS. Uh, I have evolved into a slow king. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the song is but pretty yes. good. Ooh, yay. Extended version of anything is like pretty much awesome in this case, so yay. True, yeah, true. It's like a free DLC for the game. <laughs> true, true. Anyway, um... Parts they cut out from the original and now giving it back to us. <laughs> <laughs> so the next topic is Ingram's Smile Project. So the link is in the show notes. Okay, um, so Daniel Ingram needs our help for his upcoming Smile Project. What you need to do is send in a photo of something that makes you smile. Oh. Here are his exact requirements. It can be of them, them as in the people sending in the photos, or other people they know smiling or being silly or something that's just plain heartwarming. Oh, my heart's already <laughs> failing at this point. Um, whatever just makes them want to grin, grin, grin. They can be people from anywhere around the world. Hey, Malaysians, send those in as well. Yay. And... All the smile. All the smiles. All the smile. Of Can anybody they choose, they can send as many as they want. Okay, note, <laughs> okay. you can send as many as you want, but try not to spam. <laughs> the 
more to choose from, the better, he says. They can also send the link to friends so they can participate as well. Yes, spread the smile, spread the joy, spread the word of the project. So get your cameras ready and take those pictures and send them to this makes me smile 2012 at gmail.com. The link is actually, and all the details you need are in the show notes, so check that just to be certain. And yeah, this sounds like an awesome project, I think. Ah, right. Cool. I, I'm Are not sure what he's doing. Are you sending pictures in? I'm just curious. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send a lot of it. Um, I'm yeah. not sure when this ends, really. I, I, I should have put in when this ends. Oh, there, sh- there probably should be. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing Daniel Ingram will have plenty to choose from, regardless. True. We should give him our photo of our meetup. There's a lot of yeah. smiles there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no pony is sad at an MBS meetup. No. <laughs> True indeed. Want to add any more to the news there? On to the small project thing? Yeah. Oh, um, I I guess when it comes to this sort of project, I can't wait to see what the outcome will be for this. Hopefully there'll be like quite a few creative submissions. So basically it can be anything that makes me smile. Like boxes. <laughs> oh, come on Emilio, you and your undergarments. <laughs> oh, I know this one. Hey, if they... If they're pony boxers, yeah, why not? Oh, don't bring Aaron into this. Ah, uh, that reminds me. Yes. Oh God, no! Happy Aaron, things, happy things that are suitable for kids of age. <laughs> okay. Friendly show people. Come on. Next topic. Next topic. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, um, in local news, NTV7 is going to show ponies? Woohoo! Yes! Uh, could it be possible that NTV7 is going to show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? Well, according to the research that was done, it might not happen! What? What? Why? Okay, um, the Why website... Not? Okay, let me continue. Uh, the website, www.screening.com.my, is advertising what... New shows are going to come on to NTV7 in 2012, but no airing date has been revealed. But with a quick Google search, reveal something disturbing. The website tvtropes.org stated that, in quotes, Screwed to the Extreme by NTV7 in Malaysia. The show was supposed to premiere on March 3rd, 2012 on said channel. It was yanked in the last minute and replaced with Lily the Witch. More engrossingly is that the show ID overlay still shows the airing show as My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So, so does this mean NTV7 has no interest for the show or are they going to save it for later? Mm. Mm. It sounds like politics at work behind the scenes or something here. I need to write a letter to them. Mm. Maybe it's more of a demand as well. Big boys to Malaysia. <laughs> Could it be like, it's more of, because, I don't know, when it comes to this sort of thing, it depends on what the kids want, right? Is it because not a lot of the kids are saying, we want ponies on NTV7? Or is it because they just don't know it? Not really. I mean, the kids don't have any say power to this because uh, the target demographic for this is going to be children of age 2 to 6 or maybe 12. But for this situation, My Little Pony was yanked to replace Lily the Witch. I mean, i seen a bit of Lily the Witch on YouTube and, well, let's just say that ponies are much better than this. Ponies are always better, but then again, we're a bit biased. <laughs> yes, indeed. But anyway, I mean, why on Celestia's good Earth, did they do that? Hmm, that's a good question. Maybe one of us should get in touch with NTV7 and ask them. Hey, Emilio. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> I've had enough trouble with TV stations. <laughs> I mean, could anybody tell me, seriously, when did this the website www.screening.com.my started? What? The uh... website itself? Yeah, I mean, if it started after March, then I could understand. But if... It started early within the year, then what TV Trope says is true then. Well, it says here 2003 to 2011 apparently. But uh-huh. I'm guessing considering it's a website, they should update it pretty frequently. So they should have information constantly updated, no? Yeah, but one thing that bothers me is the image they use for the My Little Pony um, preview thing. It's actually a fan art, really. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, it's all a lie. They were teasing us. <laughs> no, no, but the other thing is, they also have they also have other shows from Hasbro, like Transformers Prime and um, I well Transformers Prime to my knowledge. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, here's just one. Why in the world is Survivor there? Anybody <laughs> still watch Survivor? Survivor's still on? Yeah. What? what? It's like, what? What? It's like, how did it survive all those years? Why is it here? I got no idea. That news to me. Oh, beats Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? Okay, okay. For Survivor, they need to do a new one. They, we, they should call it Survivor Brony. Survivor Brony Extreme. No, no, just Survivor Brony. You just pick people who don't know anything about the show and force them to live together and watch the show and become a Brony. <laughs> oh, put, them in, put them in Equestria. <laughs> no, I mean, Equestria is too good for them. Just put them in a TV studio or some, some Brony's house and then make them forced to sing the Smile song or something. They'll just come out hating the show, probably. <laughs> or traumatized, like, to be all the alternatives. <laughs> I mean, it's for a million dollars. You have to love the show. <laughs> <laughs> but then we'll get, like, fake lo- fake people who, you know, try to say they are bonies, but they're not. No, they're but then you have the question of, who is Derpy Hoof? And who is Spitfire? And then, like, who is um Hot... Oh, I forgot her name. God damn it. <laughs> it's hot. All the ponies are hot. In which episode did the people say a word? Ah, yes, that one. All those kind of things. And what did she say? You know, that stuff. Well, that's that's a good point, though, because that brings in another question. Is like, how much does a brony need to know for him to actually be, him or her, to actually be considered, like, a proper brony? Because you do have bronies who just enjoy the show in terms of music and character background and stuff like that. I mean, to me, there's a level of um, fanatism or fanaticism. Oh, you know the word. <laughs> there's a level to it. Like, for us, obviously, we have gone way too deep. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> way too deep. <laughs> if we have already an OC and then we're doing a podcast and stuff, like, we're in too deep. But it's all for the love, man. For the love. Yes. Nothing wrong with being passionate about something you love. True, true. <laughs> exactly. So I guess we're moving on to the next topic. I guess so. Really? No, nothing more to add? Like, NTV7 is evil or something? <laughs> well, in general, I, I, I actually don't watch TV at all. <laughs> yeah, it's true, but... Internet. Internet, yeah. Oh my boy. Real children of the internet. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, true. No, but here's the thing. Um, I really want them to show ponies on TV. I even considered asking uh, Astro or Hype TV to make them show uh, the hub. Just to show Hasbro that we have support. I mean, um, if... Okay, there's a lot of ways we can support the show. We can buy their merchandise. We can buy their... Well... Buy the merchandise, buy the DVDs or whatever. But if we can get the show on our local TVs, that would be great. Mm, that would be a good thing. I mean, plus some of their shows are pretty good for parents, like my parents. My mom loves to watch one of those lovey dubby um, feel-good movies, like Free Willy or something like that. <laughs> Did you just compare ponies to Free Willy? No, it's, it's on the show. It's on the hub, seriously. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Free you laugh, but it's on the hub. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with free really. I just thought that was an interesting comparison. I'm just <laughs> saying... Yeah, if, if we can get, like, ponies on, like, actual TV, that would be amazing because, you know, there would be people in the outskirts who wouldn't have access to internet as well. Yeah, that's true. But here's the other question. If they do bring it on local TV, like, um, our just our basic uh, channels... Um, would they dub it? No dubs, no. Oh, God, no. No, no don't even consider that. Do not oh. even think of that. The horror. <laughs> uh, I wish Daniel was here. He would have some good lines to say. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well, kids would need to learn, like, English. Any, so it would be a good chance for them to brush up on their English. 
What is this language you're talking about? English? <laughs> Uh, okay, the medicine's kicking in. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Okay, anyway, um, let's move on to the next topic. Guest time. In today's guest time, we have Vincent. Hello, Vincent. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions before we start off with our questions? <laughs> Yo, bro, I, you're done. I you like questions. questions. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Medicine kicking in. Brain derping. <laughs> no, I think we can just get on to the questions, all the burning questions that people have. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'll start off first before the medicine, medicine kicks in again. Oh boy. This, I, I thought this was not going to be a derpy episode, but oh my god. Uh, it's gonna... Stay okay. with us, Norman. <laughs> Don't go That's to the right. light. No. Muffin. Okay, anyway, um, so Vincent, uh, here are some questions from us. Oh, yes. Ta-da! Answer them as honestly as you can. Or, if you don't want to answer them honestly, you can give money at the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like there's a light in <laughs> the right? <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is going to be an interesting talk, outtake if it, does, if it does happen. All right, all right, it's fine. Okay, so question number one. Uh, when did you start drawing? Well, uh, I started drawing when I was uh, kind of small. Yeah, uh, about about six. Mm. Yeah. And from that uh, that time, um, I like to draw mostly characters and stuff. From, from the stick man to uh, the stick man with eyes and you know, with clothes and then meat. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, do you remember your first um, character that you draw, or...? Oh, my! My first oh. character I draw. <laughs> oh, um... That, that, that would be like, uh, what, Ultraman? Oh, sweet! <laughs> I have to avoid that. <laughs> no, seriously, Ultraman was my hero when I was Wait, wait, wait. Small. Which version of Ultraman? Um... I think the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. The very first one. So, your first drawing was Ultraman. Okay, I have to respect that man. <laughs> I love Dino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I freaking love Ultraman Dino. Dino. Like, oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. Fangirl moment happening over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Emilio, the second question. Well, okay, the second question. Vincent. Yes. Uh, when did you first start drawing using the computer? Oh, the, um, I started drawing using the computer when I um, first became Brony. Oh. oh. About last year, August. Really now? Mm-hmm. How, was your, how was your transition? Uh, it, it was kind of weird at first. It's really weird. I mean, I mean, I mean, I used to draw looking down to the paper. Then suddenly, you need to look at the screen and and draw. It's like, it's like your eye keep going down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you had to choose, do you actually prefer traditional? Um, I prefer uh, tr- uh computer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tra- tra- I have no problem with traditional, but I more pre- I prefer uh computer more. We all got used to the control Z. <laughs> yes, control Z. That's like the, the, the <laughs> best the best shortcut ever. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. So <laughs> I, I will try and say this in the least easy way possible. What kind of hardware do you have and work with? I have Photoshop, uh Paint to Sci, Adobe Illustrator. Yeah, that's that that's the three main thing that I draw using. Using. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is that yeah, a like reference? Usually I, I draw first, then if I can't position, then I use the reference. Okay, um, here's something interesting. I, from all the artists that I've interviewed, um, they all use Paint Tool Sai. Um, what's so special about that one? Well, it's, 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 like a, it's like a mini pocket of, like a, like, like a mini, <laughs> mini, <laughs> like a mini Photoshop. It's, it's, everything is there for you. It's more easy to use. Rather, uh, other than uh, Photoshop, it's more how to say, it's ready for you on the side. Eh? 
everything you need. Basically, what you need to to do the art piece, yeah, yeah. just what you need, right? Yeah. Yeah. How long does it take for you to finish one drawing once you started? Uh, it depends if if there's any background or how many details it, it's in. So usually, if there's without background, I think about uh, one to two hours. Wow, that's fast. Can. <laughs> Okay. Um, what is your inspiration for drawing? Well, it, it it kicks in randomly. Like like there's one time I was buffing, then then as this idea came out, and um, in the shower. <laughs> yes. Uh, in the toilet. toilet. Yeah. <laughs> it's always when you're doing something, you know, like when you're driving, when you're like in the class, when you're like, you know, when you're very bored and, and stuff. It happens at the most random time. Yes. Or oh, the most awkward moment. <laughs> oh, like like. That awkward moment when you're taking a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna delete that one. <laughs> oh, and this is why I have to work with. Okay. Um. So let's move on to the question submitted by the MBS members. This one's from Winston Ong. He asks, "Where is Vin Vent, your male OC?" Oh. God, oh, that is a uh, is a hard question to answer. Um, well, I uh, kind of abandoned him. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> no! I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a bad guy. Uh, but but I, I, I still, it, it's um, well, he's my first OC, so I'm not keep him. Oh, I'm not okay. abandon him. I'm still using him though, but not that much. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's like in a special place. <laughs> is this the one that you showed me before? Which one? Winvent. I, I don't think so. I showed you before. It's not on the model. It's, it's not pencil point mill version? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I've seen, yeah. I seen him before. Oh, cool. Oh, how? Um. Okay. <laughs> Awkward moment when you're wondering yes. what else to say. <laughs> Daddy, why you throw me away? Oh, I know. Okay, let's move on to the next question before it gets more awkward. Uh, um, did you learn how to draw since you were small, or is it just talent? talent. It's swag. <laughs> <laughs> Why not both? Yay, pony shit, pony, pony. That's right. Talent, or oh, I learned from my, when I was small. I think okay. I learned from my, when I was small. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Is the cake a lie? Whoa! Ah, this is the, like, the hardest one. Um, let me think. The cake. Hmm, is it lie? <laughs> I have an answer for this if you don't mind me answering it. Life and death right there. <laughs> it's only gonna lie if you're not getting assaulted with the cake. <laughs> oh, that's why I was like. Ugh. Okay, uh, yeah, I got a, I got a better answer. The answer would be the cake is a lie. The truth is only in the muffins. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> moving on, Emilio, why did you handle this one? Okay, uh, is that our? I, I said I don't know how to that. Uh, as when are you going to update your Tumblr? Well, as soon as I um, finish my stuff, like my assignment and stuff, yeah. when I have the time. Vincent, Vincent, uh, I have yes. a better answer for you. Um, as soon as I remember my password for my Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So true. <laughs> oh, the password I forgot. Oh. I honestly do remember my Tumblr password. <laughs> Oh no! So oh, can you reset? I had a Tumblr in the first place. Yeah, you can reset, but it's a hassle to do all the work. So why not just wait? Just start another Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> back. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, Tash, you handle this one. Oh, okay. Um, Guanzhe asks. Uh, so how often do you draw? How often? Uh, well, there's there, there, there's this season that I I keep drawing. Then there's one time that I just you know just maybe there's no feeling to draw. How often? Maybe one in one week, maybe three to four. That's okay. pretty good, I think. Yeah. Sounds reasonable. Mm, that's pretty productive, I'd say, for a person who draws. And the next question is, what is your favorite bread? Um, nom nom nom. <laughs> Crouston. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Crouston. Croissant. 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 Yes. Croissant. Oh, that bread. Oh, God. Oh, I love croissant. Ah, croissant. It's crispy in the outside and soft in the inside. Wow. Yeah. Fresh croissant is really nice. Like, right out of the oven, when the smell comes out. Oh. Yes, I know, right? It's, oh. it's, oh. 
You're making so me I jelly. Just had it, I just had it like a month ago. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, for you guys who don't know, our Monsieur uh, Emilio here went to France. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. I was in France last night. <laughs> I don't know, drink or so. <laughs> I ate them all. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, I will go get it bagat. Oh yeah, if you get the bagat, I'll get my roti prata. <laughs> <laughs> So international right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving on to the next question. Uh, this is Hazi asks, What made you got into the fandom? I think uh, we answered this already, but if you want to elaborate, please do. Yeah, I think, yeah, mostly of the arts and the music. Yeah, most of the arts are so detailed in it. All the artists in this fandom, it's incredible. And the musician, they made awesome music and stuff. That, that's mostly what brings me into the Fandom. Yeah, same here. I love the music and art. It's mm-hmm. way beyond from any fandom I've joined in before. Okay, anyway, um, Almost all around. <laughs> okay, on to the next question. Why is Pinky best pony? Seriously, that's a funny way to spell Fluttershy. <laughs> <laughs> well, a pink pony, you know. Yeah. The crazy one, you know. Uh, yes, the crazy one. <laughs> the party animal. Why not? Oh, yeah. Okay, acceptable, but still wrong spelling though. <laughs> to each that for me. Okay, um, who is best male pony? Male pony. Best stallion. Who? Well, I have to say it's uh, Shining Armor. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, the answer is right in front of you guys, really. Yeah, it's the first three letters for that question. Who? Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. I see what you did ah. 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 Ah, Okay, okay, yeah. Well, everybody knows the doctor is the best male yeah. pony, but Shining Armor is okay too. He sounds like a surfer dude. Shining Armor? <laughs> the same voice actor as Braybird. Yeah, he is. Oh, and Braybird is... I was, I was like, whoa, it's, it's so different. And Raven yeah. is cool too. Hmm. I have the biggest crush on Raven, just putting that out there. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, moving on. <laughs> okay. Guys, when next time you're cosplaying, you should cosplay as Raven. And maybe Tash will crush for you. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you the biggest hug ever. I will not let you go. Like, seriously. Mental oh, note. Oh my gosh. If you cosplay as Spike, I will like home with me. Mental note. Dress up as Raven or Spike. Okay. <laughs> okay, um the next question is what is the best shipping? I think Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, either that or or maybe Twilight and Rainbow Dash. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Twilight and Rainbow Dash shipping. I kind of like that one. Is it like full on ship or just friendship? Maybe friendship. Mm. Or full on ship. Both. Oh, okay, cool. So okay, um her next question is where do you get inspiration for your artwork? We already answered that one, Hazi. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes, Hadi, you're here. Well, for the next question. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you prevent artist block? Oh, this one. Uh, artist block. Well, I just play games. I- either that, I'll go out with friends and and ask them about any ideas on drawing. Give us an example of one of those situations when you go out with your friends. And um, mind telling us who are your friends? Um, is it w- your brony friends or just normal friends? Ah, uh, just regular friends. Okay. So, um, tell oh, us. Uh, I was like, uh, and we sit down in the cafe. Then, while we order drinks and stuff, when we sit down together, then all of a sudden I ask, hey, guys, uh, do you have any, any idea on drawing a pony? They were like, what? What pony? Oh, God. Just, some of them they doesn't know that I draw ponies. I was like, are you serious, bro? Ponies? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Okay, um, then after that, they give me some idea that, you know, most of the painters skip. But then, yeah, that somehow gives me the idea to break out of the... Block. Asking a non brony <laughs> friend that question is going to be very awkward. Yeah, it's it's very awkward. But then, because they don't really like to make fun of me. <laughs> but the, my secondary friend, it's a totally, totally different level because they're like, you know, those typical Chinese. And okay. Like, like to, you know, make fun of Okay. He's gonna hate. Yes, I know. Oh, a bouncing Applejack with a cider on her head jumping around. <laughs> okay. So Amelia, why don't you take this one? Okay, on to the question from Stephanie Tan. Her first question is, when and why did you decide to make Pencil Point and when did you decide to change him to a mayor? Oh, <laughs> well, this is a very, very hard question. I have no idea. 
Ano? Uh, Maybe just felt like it. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the feeling, you know. That, that I just, yeah. Okay, um, let's That's break down the question to two parts. Um, when did you make pencil point? Oh, it was last year September. Was it for an OC or pony sona? For OC, I haven't have any pony sona yet. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So the first reiteration of pencil point is was a male, right? Yep. So um, when did you R thirty four um pencil point? R thirty four sixty three, you mean? Yeah, sorry, R sixty three. Oh God, when? Uh, I think it's around January. Mm, okay. Oh, wait. It's around, yeah, it's around Germany. He came as a Okay, that's interesting. I, I would have to say it's a good move because uh, Pencil Point now is getting some popularity on the MBS. <laughs> oh, yes. Pencil Point! <laughs> but you do need to bring him back. Like, make male Pencil Point confront female Pencil Point. That would be interesting. Oh, that's a good idea. Whoa. <laughs> I'll send you for that, man. <laughs> Another question from Stephanie. Uh, is why did you pick a unicorn instead of the other type of ponies that are available? Well, I like unicorn because of their magic and, and the, the, type, the way they use their magic and limited stuff. I, I, it's quite useful for my friend. Yeah, my, uh, yeah, my second favorite would be Earth Pony because of ponies that pick, pick it up. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's and, right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that makes sense. It's like, if you have a choice of going with magic, yeah, why not? True. true. Okay, um, the next question is from Wuna Pinoko. Puniko. Oh, okay. Oh, me fail. Medicine <laughs> kicking in. Okay, um, what does your favorite pie taste like? My favorite pie? Yes. Any pie flavor? Acceptable answer. <laughs> okay. Tastes like pinky. <laughs> Mm. Tastes like cotton candy. Mm. Cotton candy and streamers and chocolate and everything. Oh. And diabetes. <laughs> uh, the next question will be, will you be making pony for comas or some comic stuff? Yes, I, 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 do, I do want to start to make comic stuff. But then I have no idea how to start. Maybe yeah. you should put it out there on the group asking for ideas. Yes, I should. <laughs> Why is this pony for comas? Pony for comas. I have no idea about uh, what, what. Pony for comas. Oh, it's actually. I think it's more of like uh, from manga, like Japanese oh, manga, manga sort of. Like manga, they have four coma comics. It's like a gag comic. Oh. So it's like short, like comic strip sort of thing happening, and it's four coma refers to like four panels, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Wow. Four panels, uh, da- Going downside and uh, yeah. that's a super guy. Yeah. Tash, you're smart. We should have you on. No, I just read manga. <laughs> I read manga too, but yeah. Oh, that's for her. Someone's too hipster for me, man. Eh? <laughs> okay. That was uh, Vincent Pencil Point. Thanks for coming on today's show, and let's move on to the next topic: email time. <laughs> Email you guys should have like a song played before your email. <laughs> You'll have like someone do a derpy voice over and be like, You've got mail. <laughs> I just don't know what went wrong. Uh, Tash, why don't you read this one since you're our very lovable guest host? Oh, oh so touch hearts everywhere. Um, so, this comes in from Muffeeder. It says, Hello, Norman and Emilio. Yay! Love- Yay! Um, <laughs> love the news and good stuff Daniel Anthony said in his email. Awesome. Let's start a charity drive to buy better recording equipment for you guys. <laughs> Keep them episodes coming from Muffeeder. I think that's pretty good suggestion, actually. Better recording, uh, why not? I'll take food. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hold up side. We accept donations in the form of food, recording equipment, and other grumpy goods. <laughs> well, um, okay, uh, before I move on, um, we should really call this uh, segment Muffy Derp Time because 
he's been the only fan that's sen- been sending us emails. Um, come on. I know we have listeners from around the world. Come on, guys. Send us my emails, hate mails or anything. Tell us we good, oh, suck or anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that too. Yeah, I think more emails would definitely be good. Suggestions on what, you know, you guys want to hear more. Yeah, true. Just send us some emails uh, asking us about your pony-related problems or things you want to know about the fandom from a Malaysian point of view. I mean, come on. If you need advice about anything, hey. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe you're, you're in love with another Rony and you need help. So Dr. Love right here can help you. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Bruni confession hour. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. If I can get about 10 or 20 emails um, before the episode 10 Rick, um, starts, I'll make that a special email episode. How about that, guys? Come on. Ooh. Ooh. That would be nice. That would be cool. I might even give something out. <laughs> Um, oh. Emilio said that, not me. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I, I would give something else. I, I would do a giveaway if we have 20 emails. <laughs> okay, Emilio said that if you guys submit around 20 emails, well, from different person, one of those lucky 20 email person will get something from Emilio. And what might that be, Emilio? Uh, basically, it's pony related. Okay then, so something pony related. That's good. <laughs> It might be a pony toy, who knows? <laughs> cool. Okay, you can send those emails to the MBS show at gmail.com. Okay, um so Murphy wants us to start a charity to buy better recording equipment. Um okay. <laughs> um is there something wrong with my audio? Like I'm depressed. I just went off it. <laughs> The quality of a show could always be better. True. Just saying. True, true. Don't get better if you give us more emails. That's what I'll get better. Uh, more involvement. Yay. Yes. yes. Okay, I mean, anyway, uh, thanks for feedback for the email. You're our number one fan. We love you. I give you a hug, right? You know where you are. Oh, he's much closer than you think. Look behind you. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway, um, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MBS show at gmail.com. Or if you want to reach us on Twitter, I'm at Norman Sanzo. I'm at King of Cuteness. Pencil Point, you have a Twitter? Um, no, sorry. <laughs> Tash, you? I do! Oh gosh, um, at Tasha Irina, basically. <laughs> That's uh, what right. it is. Yeah. I'll, I'll add it into the um, show notes. <laughs> My timeline is filled with Twitter bronies now. Oh. They're all my Yay. friends. Okay, anyway, um, I'll try and add your tweet into the show notes then. So, um, I think that's about it. Unless somebody wants to add more to the show. Oh, I'm pretty much talked out. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry. I forgot to do this. But Pencil Point, you want to pimp out any websites you want to pimp out? Maybe my De- Devonaut website. Okay, cool. What is it? Um, it's... Uh... Do I need okay. to do I need to speak out or the, should I type? No, just say it out and then. Okay, all right. Uh, doggy nine 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 dot devonat dot com. Okay, so that's doggy nine nine nine. Yes, triple nine. Okay, so doggy nine nine nine. Dot. D- <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get it in the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, um, I think that's an episode then. Uh, I've been Norman Sanzo. And I'm Emilia Daniel. I'm tangled in wires right now. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Someone untangle him. Help. Help. Okay, um, that was uh, Vincent Pencil Point and our guest host, Tash. So, see ya.
если ты изюм Бросил жира и открытку Хлеба с маслом, бреда с красным Маринада, шоколада, глазировку, раскадровку Зеют дрожжи, крекин, боже Слезы поняши ртут мелом 